Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Easy Crab Tortellini. That's right, I'm gonna show you a super easy, super simple method for making stuffed pasta using wonton wrappers. Which reminds me, if you'd rather call these crab wontons or crab dumplings, go ahead. These are really all the same thing. But I went with tortellini because it has a couple extra syllables, so I thought it would be easier to rhyme with. But no matter what you call them, this is definitely something you want in your bag of culinary tricks. And to get started, the first thing we'll need to do is mix up this very easy filling, which is gonna start with exactly seven saltine crackers, which we will crush up nice and fine with our fingers. And if you wanted to use about the same amount of breadcrumbs with maybe a pinch of salt, that would also work. But I just find for whatever reason, the saltines work out a little better. And then to that, we will add one large beaten egg, as well as a couple spoons of mascarpone cheese, which is nothing more than an extra rich Italian cream cheese. And if you can't find it, regular cream cheese will work. We will also want to add a little touch of Dijon mustard, along with a few dashes of Worcestershire sauce. And that's it. Once everything's in there, we'll go ahead and take a spoon and give this a mix. And as you might know, I like to start stirring at one camera angle, and then I'll move the camera and finish the shot with a different angle. Well, for reasons I don't have time to get into, that second shot didn't happen. But that's okay. Nothing a little flip over transition can't fix. Oh yeah, there we go. And then once that's mixed, we'll go ahead and let that sit for five minutes, just to give those crumbs a little head start absorbing the moisture before we add in our very, very well-drained crab meat. And I use two different kinds, some very affordable standard lump crab meat from the grocery store, plus the same amount of some much nicer, much more expensive Dungeness crab meat. And this way we can save a little money and still tell people the filling's made out of Dungeness. Oh yeah, that's perfectly legal and ethical. And then we'll finish this up with a little touch of Old Bay, a pinch of salt, a couple shakes of cayenne, and then if you have some, and I did, a little bit of minced jalapeno pepper, which is just a fantastic pairing with crab. And then we'll grab our spoon and give this a mix until it's just combined. And we could use this right now if we had to, but for some possibly better results, let's go ahead and wrap it up and pop it in the fridge for about an hour before we try to stuff our tortellini. Okay, I think it's gonna be easier to work with, plus we give it a little bit of time for those flavors to develop. And who among us does not enjoy developed flavors? So that's what I did. And then about an hour later, I moved into final production. And for that, we're going to need some of these. Some ready-to-use wonton wrappers from the store. So soft, so supple, so thin. And I find very easy to work with. And very important, once you open the package, you want to keep a just barely damp towel over the top so they don't dry out. And what we'll do is go ahead and place one down. And then we'll paint a tiny bit of water with the tip of our finger on the two edges facing away from us. All right, not too much, just enough to moisten. And then once that's been accomplished, we'll go ahead and place down one tablespoon of our filling, right in the center, and then we will just spread it out a little bit. And then the first maneuver here is to fold this over so that our two points line up first. And then once that center spot is pressed together, we can work our way down the sides, pressing ceiling and pushing out any air to basically form a triangle. And then once we've somehow managed that, we will use one of our fingers to push right into the center of that long flat side, or as our geometry teacher would call it, the hypotenuse. And then once we have that basic shape formed, we'll go ahead and moisten each of those tips, referred to in the tortellini business as wings. And with a finger placed and slightly pushing in the middle, we'll go ahead and seal those together, pressing them nice and tight. And if everything goes according to plan, that dough on the opposite side will kind of fold up to form a collar. And that's it, it's really not that hard except I'm never quite sure what to do with that part once it's sealed. I mean, should I fold it down or fold it up and tuck it in or just leave it as is? I don't know, and to be honest, it really doesn't matter. Since once these are boiled and sauced, they're gonna look amazing. So let me go ahead and show you one more. While I also give you the extremely obvious info that you could use this technique to stuff these with whatever you want. So please feel free to adapt these to your tastes. I mean, you are after all the Ray Boom Boom Mancini of your easy cheater tortellini. And speaking of boxing, these square wrappers work just fine, but if you can get the round ones, those do produce a more traditional tortellini shape. But either way, the folding is basically the same. So I went ahead and folded up seven of those, since I'm just filming one portion. And then, because these things are going to cook so fast, before we boil them, we need to have whatever sauce we're using ready. Which for me is going to be a very simple but delicious cream sauce. Which is going to start with some creme fraiche. Or as some of you pronounce it, cream fraiche. And we'll place that over medium heat. And then to that, we will also add a touch of paprika, 
which is a little bit for flavor, but mostly to warm up the color of the sauce a little. We'll also do a little bit of freshly grated lemon zest, as well as a little pinch of salt. And then I like to thin it out just a little bit with a touch of our pasta water, right? Just a little splash. And then all we're gonna do here is wait for that creme fraiche to melt and for this mixture to heat through. And then as soon as it does, and it's just about to start to simmer, we can go ahead and turn it off since it's now ready to accept our cooked tortellini, which are only gonna take a minute, literally. So we'll go ahead and grab those and carefully transfer them into some well-salted boiling water. And then we'll give those a very gentle stir with our strainer to make sure they're not sticking to the bottom. And then, like I said, we're only gonna cook these for about 60 seconds, which during that time, they may or may not float to the surface, which is how some people will tell you they're done. But depending on the filling, that doesn't always happen. So after just about a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and fish those out and we'll transfer those into our sauce. And we'll crank our heat to medium high. And basically, as soon as our sauce starts simmering and everything is heated through, these are pretty much ready to serve. And as this comes up to temp, we'll gently stir and baste. And the cooking time might seem too quick, but those wonton wrappers are super thin and cook really fast. Plus, other than the egg, everything in the filling's cooked. So really, as soon as those are heated through, they're okay to serve. And then what we'll do once that happens and our sauce is simmering is turn off the heat and we'll stir in some fresh dill or the crab-friendly herb of your choice. Okay, tarragon would also be very nice. And that's it once our fresh herb has been stirred in. And we, of course, have checked for seasoning. We can go ahead and plate that up. And like all cream sauces, they definitely thicken up once they hit the plate and start to cool. So two things. Make sure your plate is warm and your sauce is not overly reduced when you go ahead and plate it. Oh, and I should mention, if you want to use regular cream instead of creme fraiche, go ahead. It'll basically work exactly the same, except it won't have that delicious tangy flavor. Although you could sneak in a few drops of lemon juice to increase the acidity. But anyway, you'll figure it out. And then once I had that plated and sauced, I finished up with a little more fresh dill, as well as one last sprinkling of cayenne to make these look a little crabbier. And that's it, our super easy cheater method for crab tortellini are ready to enjoy. And not to insult your pasta or wonton dough making skills, but besides being a lot less work, one of the great things about these wrappers is that they're so nice and thin. So it really does make for a beautifully tender and delicate dumpling. But that was just one part of why these were so incredible. All right, the other reason is I just love this crab filling, which by the way was based on our highly regarded crab cake recipe. So instead of being like 50% crab, 50% cheese, this is, or at least seems like, almost all crab meat. Or as the DJ once said, all killer, no filler. I mean, come on, look at all that crab. So I just absolutely loved how these came out. And sure, if you're feeling less adventurous and you'd rather just fold them over and cook them as triangles, that's okay. But the magic of this tortellini shape, also known as wonton shape, is that it does a great job of catching and holding on to all that delicious sauce. So for a little extra work, it really does elevate the experience. But whether you make these as shown or you do your own cheater method of the cheater method, either way, I really do hope you give these a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts a printable written recipe, and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.